a certain number of men can do a work in 50 days so we will assume that the certain number of men is x so they can do a work in 50 days so x men working for 50 days so 50 x is the whole job if there had been three more men they could have finished it in five days less so instead of x if there had been three more if there are x plus three people then it would have taken five days less instead of 50 days now it will require only 45 days how many men were there originally that is x so we'll just calculate the value of x here 5 divides 9 times 5 divides 10 times so 10x is equal to 9x plus 9 into 3 27 so x you will get it as 27 so originally there were 27 men option b How many three digit natural numbers are possible such that the sum of their digits is three? So you have a three digit number like this. These three blanks are to be filled such that the sum of their digits is equal to three. And also this blank cannot be filled to zero. If you use a zero here, it will become a two digit number. So one possible outcome is it can be three zero zero. They cannot be interchanged because this compulsorily has to be filled with 3. It cannot be filled with a 0. So only one such number. Now another possible number is it can be 1, 2 and 0. Also uh, 0 cannot be here. 0 can be here or 0 can be here. So another outcome is 1, 0, 2. Now in both these cases 1 and 2 can be interchanged. It can be 1, 2, 0 or 2, 1, 0. In this case, it can be 102 or 201. So in this case, 1 and 2 can be interchanged. So two such numbers where 0 is here. And when 0 is here, again 1 and 2 can be interchanged. So two such numbers. One more number is possible. It is 1, 1, 1. They cannot be interchanged to get different numbers. So only one such number is possible. So 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2 gives you 6. So altogether, 6 numbers are possible. Hence option D, 6. In how many ways can 8 books be arranged on a shelf so that the oldest book and the newest book never come together? So altogether 8 books are there. So they can be arranged in 8 factorial ways. So this is the total number of arrangements. From this we will remove the number of arrangements where the oldest and the newest are always together. So let us find out the number of arrangements where the oldest and newest are together. Altogether, 8 books are there and the oldest and the newest should always be together. So, you have 6 uh, books and then you have the oldest book and the newest book. The oldest book and the newest book, they should always be together. Now, whenever it is said that they should be together, you bring them together and treat it as one book. If you treat it as one book, then the oldest and the newest, they will always be together. Now treating it as one, now we will see in how many ways they can be arranged. So six books are there and this is treated as one. So effectively seven of them, they can be interchanged in seven factorial ways. And in each of these seven factorial arrangements, this O and N, they can be interchanged among themselves. They will still be together. So they can be interchanged in two factorial ways. So these are the number of arrangements where the oldest and the newest are always together. This we will remove from the total number of arrangements. Then we will get the number of arrangements where the oldest and newest are not together. So total number of arrangements is 8 factorial. From this we will remove uh, 7 factorial into 2 factorial. In these cases the oldest and newest are always together. Now I will take out 7 factorial common outside. So remaining 8 minus this 2. So that will be 7 factorial into 8 minus 2 is 6. So 7 factorial into 6. That is option A. Ram cuts a square piece of paper into 9 equal squares. Then Ram cuts exactly one of these 9 squares into 9 equal squares. If Ram keeps on repeating the same process for an infinite number of times, then which of the following can be the total number of squares at any instant of time? So initially he has uh, one square 
and he cuts it into nine equal squares. So at the end of the first step, he has nine equal squares. So nine squares are there. Now we'll find out how many squares will be there at the end of the second step. Now uh, Ram cuts exactly one out of these nine squares into nine equal squares. So out of these nine squares, he takes out one. So remaining eight is there and that one he cuts into nine. Now we'll find out how many will be there at the end of the third step. He has 8 plus 9. Out of this 9, he takes out 1, so he is left with 8. And that 1, he cuts into 9. Now, at the end of the fourth, fourth step, he has 8 plus 8 plus 9. Out of this 9, he takes out 1, so he is left with 8. And that 1, he cuts into 9. And so on. So, you can see at the end of four steps, it is 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9. At the end of three steps, it is 8 plus 8 plus 9. So at the end of a certain number of steps, the number of squares can be represented as 8n plus 9. That is equal to 8n plus 8 plus 1. 9 can be represented as 8 plus 1. So basically, 8n plus 8 is a multiple of 8. So the number of squares will be a multiple of 8 plus 1. So the question is, which of the following can be the total number of squares at any instant of time? Now the total number of squares can be represented as a multiple of 8 plus 1. That is 8n plus 8 is a multiple of 8 plus 1. Now look at 240. 240 is a multiple of 8. That will not do. It should be a multiple of 8 plus 1. So 240 can be eliminated. Look at 99. 99 is 96 plus 3. 96 is a multiple of 8. So multiple of 8 plus 3, that will not do. It should be a multiple of 8 plus 1, not plus 3. So B is also wrong. 249 is the right answer. That is 248 plus 1. 248 is a multiple of 8. So a multiple of 8 plus 1, so it can be 249. Look at 250, that is 248 plus 2. It's a multiple of 8 plus 2, that will not do. It should be a multiple of 8 plus 1, that is 249. Hence, C is the right answer. What is the sum of all possible four-digit numbers formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4? Repetition of the digits is not allowed. So you have the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. And you are going to form four-digit numbers. And what is the sum of all such four-digit numbers? Assume that the number 1 is here in the thousandth place. If 1 is in the thousandth place, the contribution of 1 to the value of the number will be 1000. Because 1 is in the thousandth place. And there will be 6 such numbers. That is, these 3 blanks can be filled in any order using 2, 3 and 4. So 3 of them in 3 blanks, they can be interchanged in 3 factorial ways, 6 ways. And in each number, the contribution of 1 to the value of the number will be 1000 and there will be 6 such numbers. Then 1 can be in the 100th place. If 1 is in the 100th place, contribution of 1 to the value of the number will be 100 and there will be 6 such numbers. If you fix this blank with 1, uh, these 3 blanks can be filled with 2, 3 and 4 in any order you like. They can be interchanged in 3 factorial ways or 6 ways. If 1 is in the 10th place, contribution of 1 to the value of the number will be 10. And there will be 6 such numbers. Then 6 numbers where 1 is in the units place. So if you add up the contribution of all the 1's, it will be 6 into double 1, double 1. Then we will calculate for 2. 2 can be in the 1000th place then contribution of 2 to the value of the number will be 2000 because 2 is in the thousandth place and there will be 6 such numbers. These 3 blanks and the numbers will be 1, 3 and 4. They can be interchanged among themselves in 3 factorial ways, 6 ways. Then 2 can be in the hundredth place. Contribution of 2 to the value of the number will be 200 and 6 such numbers. Then 2 can be in the tenth place and 6 such numbers and 6 numbers where 2 is in the units place. So if you add up the whole value, it will be 6 into double 2, double 2. Similarly for 3 as well as 4 also. So 6 numbers where 3 is in the 1000th place, 6 numbers where 3 is in the 100th place, 
six number where three is in the tenth place and six number where three is in the units place. So six into double three, double three. Similarly for four also. So if you add up the total contribution, it will be six into double one, double one, plus six into double two, double two, plus six into double three, double three, plus six into double four, double four. So this will be six into double one, double one, into one plus two plus three plus four. So six into double one, double one is double six, double six into one plus two plus three plus four. That is ten. So it will be double six, double six followed by a zero. That is given in option B.